we're going to talk about spring barley, Dale. We've got a couple different spring barleys here that we're going to look at. Uh, one is the Lacey Spring Grain Barley, and one is the Labina Spring Orange Barley. And the main difference is uh, that the one that's grown for grain, part of the reason it's grown for grain, is because if you look at the seed head, it's got really, really long beards. And uh, a lot of times the bearded types will be higher seed yielders. Uh, so that's good, we would want that. Uh, but we would not really want to turn cattle out here and try to graze this because I mean, these beards are, you know, four to five inches long. Even rolled up in a hay bale, this, this could be problematic. Uh, so we wouldn't really want to see this uh, in a situation where it's going to be going through an animal uh, as a forage. As opposed to the Levina barley, it is a beardless type barley. There's no beard on this at all, uh, and it's a little longer season. This this is uh, you know really already pollinated and it's uh, filling grain. Uh, this is uh, just maybe done pollinating. Uh, that head hasn't fully extended and emerged yet. So definitely going to be a much higher degree and quality of forage here. So we would sell this to people that no, well, if you just want a cover crop, this is going to be a little cheaper because it's a better seed yielder. Uh, and it's going to have every bit as good a cover crop properties. Uh, or uh, there are feedlots that, that like to buy feed barley. Uh, there are breweries that uh, like to buy barley, obviously, for making beer. Now, this particular one is not a malting barley type. It's more of a feed grain barley. But most of your malting barley is going to be very similar. It's going to have a big old long beard on there. Uh, so, again, two different plants for two different purposes. Uh, both can be planted in the spring and grow very well. Yeah. Um, Forage quality on barley is, is almost as good as oats, uh, the, the vegetative quality. Uh, the awns, say, why did we have awns at all if they cause that many problems? These awns are photosynthetic area. They act just like a leaf when it comes to photosynthesis. And uh, you know, as much as 20-25% of the weight of the grain in the head actually comes from the awn. So having awns really gives you uh, a higher potential grain yield. It's a bigger factory. Yeah, you got a bigger factory. It's just like having leaves uh, that where the photosynthetic product goes directly into the grain. And uh, another benefit is drought tolerance. This is like a built-in windbreak. So it kind of helps reduce wind velocity over the grain. And so you can get a little bit of, of added drought tolerance from the beard versus a beardless. Um, at least as far as grain production. Obviously, during the forage part of it, the beards aren't even out. Yeah. But uh, this has been a very good forage.